Hello, my name is uh, Saeed Yahi. I'm a teacher in uh, upper secondary school called Lycée, Lycée Gustave Eiffel at Cachan in France. And I'm here to tell you my experience in teaching using simulation, which is a new approach adopted by the French Ministry of Education since 2011 in order to attract more students to pursue engineering education. This work is in, col in collaboration with Mrs. Nadia Bejawi, Mr. Hackenson, and Mr. Schlosser, the academic specialist for MathWorks, the MATLAB Simulic company. First of all, let me give you a brief idea of what happened in 2011 in French education. Well, as the studies showed that we need more engineers to for, for the following years, the main objective of the change in France, of the French education, was to increase the flow of the students for the long studies, I mean, the master in university, engineer, engineer school, etc. In France, before 2011, the scientific stream S in the upper secondary school used to be the main path for preparing students to engineering education whereas the science and technology stream was more dedicated for a professional early career, like manufacturing. In 2011, the science and technology stream was renovated to attract more students to pursue engineering ed education. So what is a new teaching approach at the plot for that? The first thing was to reposition the science and technology teaching in the context of sustainable development, durable development in French, from where comes the 2D. This is to educate and prepare students for, to the emerging industrial needs that is designing a technology in respect of society, economy and environment. The second thing was to organize the teaching around four dis disciplines or specialities, all sharing a strong multi-domain general curriculum background to avoid early specialization, allow exchange between the different specialties, and thus favor a larger orientation in higher education. The cross-disciplinary teaching is set up for the world class, where the students where the students study the techni uh, technical system from its three main perspectives that are energy transformation, material structure, and information transfer. The objective is for the student to get a good, a good global understanding of technological system. The specialization is made through project-based learning, where students work in groups, to apply what they learned in class and to design the prototype, improve the performance and of the, of the design, etc. The objective is for the students to deepen their understanding in certain domain and learn and train on the engineering work, I mean model design and prototype. Finally, the third and most important part of the adopted change for our paper is a simulation-based approach. Unlike, unlike traditional scientific approach, where we start from learning the concept, then validate it on the real system, STI 2 d st students are more applied. They use to learn through the technology, and they need then to start from the concrete application, make actions and experiment, in order to deduce the concepts. Experimenting on the real system being not always possible and practical, and more, and more imp importantly, not mandatory, since now students don't need to be professional. Simulation models uh, that reproduce the behavior of the real systems are then actively, actively used instead. However, this sets high and large requirements on the simulation tools. Indeed, they must represent the behavior of the global multiphysic complex system. They need to be graphical, hiding the mass, 
as student don't master the math yet, to enable, to allow students to make action, change parameters, include both 2D and 3D visualization to observe the behavior of the system and facilitate the, the interpretation of the simulated data, and be able to connect easily uh, to hardware to ease the uh, prototype phase. Next, I will show you an example of STI 2D teaching workflow using a such simulation-based approach in my class at Lycée Gustave Eiffel at Cachon from control design, for control design and prototyping of Segway. We, we used for that MATLAB Simulink as simulation tool and LIGO Mindstorms and NXT for prototyping. The workflow is as follows. First, discover and understand control of Segway in class. I mean, this is a, a cross-disciplinary teaching. Then, during the project, apply the, uh, apply the learned concept to the design and prototyping. For that, phase A, they get introduced to the real system through video showing its different, different modes of movement. I mean, forward, backward, turn left, turn right, etc. Phase B, they study its principles through a simple model of an inverted pendulum. They experiment, experiment uh, on the model by changing the gain parameters of the controller and observe the impact on its behavior. They did use that this parameter affects the rapidity, stability, and precision of the system. And after that, they start learning on the mathematical model of, the, of first and second order system. During their speciality, they work in groups to first build physically the LIGO NXT in the Segway configuration. And they need to program it with a controller in order to behave as a real Segway. Phase C. For that, we will use a more realistic simulation model of the LEGO and XC Segway, where they first simulate and change the parameters to obtain the desired performance. And then, FSD, test it on the hardware and compare between the real behavior and the simulated one. Now, why did we use MATLAB Simulink as simulation tools? Well, because it offers all the requirements stated before in one and unique environment, such a multi-physical environment allowed to switch from the real system to the model and to, from the model to the prototype without changing environment. It helps to compare the different behaviors during each phase of the development project and get a validate prototype. In addition to that, it helps students in class to get excited and involved. Indeed, here are some results with the students. So use of simulation together with 3D animation and experimentation with hardware increase the focus of interest of the students, making their involvement constant over a long period of time, I mean five months, the results obtained from their project and the final exam are very satisfactory. Indeed, they largely exceed the academic and national averages. This showed that they got a good understanding of the concepts. We don't know yet how many students registered to pursue engineering as this is currently proceeded. However, all we can say that we are that there are retention and no one change field of study. Based on this result and observation, we can say that simulation-based teaching seems to be promising for attracting students to pursue higher education. And MATLAB Simulink is a simulink is a simulation tool uh, ideal ideal for this teaching since it offers a unique environment for the teacher to develop multidisciplinary activities. Having said that, I would like to invite you to explore the multidisciplinary activity developed 
around the Segway and other systems using MATLAB Simulink that are available on this website. For example, for example, how students investigate different parts of Segway, etc. Thank you very much.